A number of financial analysts have downgraded Ubisoft stock, citing upcoming competition in the new year, specifically with Grand Theft Auto 6, but also due to poor sales or poor expected sales for Star Wars Outlaws. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com. And this comes to us via a Bloomberg report. And they claim that investment firm BNP Paribas downgraded the stock to neutral on Wednesday. The firm's analyst, Nicholas Langlet, who is described by Bloomberg as a, quote, bull of Ubisoft Entertainment. So he actually thinks that Ubisoft is a, a good stock and maybe potentially you should be investing in it. He thinks that they are a good company. But this is a guy who is downgrading the stock, someone that they're describing as a bull who is actually in favor of this company. And he is the one who downgraded the stock, citing a crowded release schedule and increased competition, including from Take-Two Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 6. According to the report, Langlet, quote, cut his price target on the stock by more than half to $14.00. And 50 cent euros, a new low among analysts tracked by Bloomberg. So the guy who is a bull has now cut his price target in half to a new low by Bloomberg. That is how bad Ubisoft is performing when you have a bull cutting the stock price in half or the price target on the stock in half. And it is a new low tracked by a Bloomberg. And if you want to see what the stock is here, it is over at Yahoo. It has slightly gone up recently in the past day, up uh, what uh, 0.4 cents there, up 0.3% to 1173 cent euro. Uh, but you can see here in the past five days, down over 20%, massive decline. And then uh, obviously, even if you want to go over to the next the five year, down nearly 80 Five percent in five years, 83 percent. Even if you want to go look at the one year, still down 57 percent year to date. We're looking at almost down 50 percent. I mean, this stock is just absolutely tanking right now in the past six months, down 40 percent. But it wasn't just Langland. We also had uh, Cantor Fitzgerald also downgraded the stock, according to this Bloomberg report. Interestingly, they didn't cite uh, competition from Grand Theft Auto 6, Fitzgerald cited Star Wars Outlaws reviews, mixed reviews, and predicting the game will underperform expectations when it comes to sales of the game. And remember, we already have that report from uh, the UK saying that sales for Star Wars Outlaws were 55% lower than Star Wars Jedi Survivor and only 15% higher than Ubisoft's uh, and Massive Entertainment's most recent Avatar game, which I think had very soft sales to begin with. So not looking good for Ubisoft. Uh, remember, uh, when they had their most recent earnings report, there were, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Hold on. We'll get to that. Anyway, so financial analyst Valiant Renegade also reacted to these analysts downgrading Ubisoft stock saying, quote, it's going to get even worse. And I think he's absolutely correct on this. I don't think it is going to get any better because Assassin's Creed Shadows is coming up in November. We also have an upcoming earnings report where I think we'll get some more color on how well X Defiant is doing, which again, that was one of their big games that they released earlier this year. Latest rumors indicate that the player base has completely evaporated after an initial interest. And I think that might have to do with a lot of competition as well coming from Valve and uh, Steam's uh, Deadlock game. But this is what Valiant Renegade added. He said, based on the Wall Street projection of what Ubisoft will have sold of Star Wars Outlaws by March of next year, by the end of March, six months from now, I'm betting that Star Wars Outlaws today, September 11, 2024, has probably maybe not even broken two and a half million units. So that is absolutely terrible because when in the most recent earnings report from Ubisoft, the company actually lowered their uh, revenue earnings or their sales earnings to 500 million euros. And uh, Barclays, Nick Dempsey actually questioned Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemont about those earnings. And he says, when I look at the guidance for Q2, and if I assume something similar for back catalog in Q2 as Q1, kind of getting to 200 to 230 million euro, that sort of range for the new release, Star Wars Outlaws, when I look at the $70 price and then assuming what you might get from it, I'm getting to around 5 million units, something in that sort of bracket. First of all, where could I be going wrong with that thinking? Secondly, are you just being pretty conservative in your guidance? Because I guess given the interest in that game, 
we might have thought it would be more than 5 million units. So investors, based on what Ubisoft was telling them, were actually expecting that this game would sell over 5 million units within the quarter. And then we get this 500 million euro uh, number prediction that Ubisoft shares. And they're like, well, clearly it's not going to be higher than that now. So it is probably around 5 million units. And now we've got Valiant Renegade predicting it's going to be 2.5 million units. So cut that number in half. And he's saying that's not even going to be happening in the quarter. That's going to be a year from now. That's how bad this game is doing in sales now. Or at least that's what investors think, how poorly this game is indeed doing. And Guillemot responded to uh, Dempsey here saying, we can't comment on the very numbers you're quoting, but what we have factored in is a strong launch for Star Wars Outlaws that reflects the fact that it is among the most awaited games of the industry this year and a really strong positive community sentiment. And also the fact that we are coming with the biggest marketing campaign ever so far for an Ubisoft game. So that's what we've been factoring in the second quarter. So again, we will really see what happens when they share that earnings report and how well this game actually did and I, I don't think it is going to be uh doing well at all as we're seeing investors downgrading the stock and specifically citing star wars outlaws potential poor sales and uh, that strong positive community sentiment again does not look to have turned into actual sales valiant renegade later asserted this ubisoft is going under and i predicted this we're approaching a bankruptcy thing or a buyout situation and it looks like the buyout situation is coming into play. And then he, from there, he goes and cites the open letter that AJ Investments sent to the board of directors of Ubisoft that urges the company to go private or sell to a strategic investor. In the letter, the investment firm specifically took issue with Ubisoft's lowering of its revenue outlook for its second quarter when Star Wars Outlaws released. It's, they wrote this. The recent quarterly results, which included the postponement of key games like Rainbow Six Siege and The Division into the 2025 lineup, and a lowered revenue outlook for the Q2 2024 have heightened our concerns about the management's ability to deliver value to shareholders over the long term. Share price of Ubisoft have decreased by more than 40% over the last year compared to rise of its competitors and indexes. After detailing how they believe the company should be valued between 40 and 45 euro, the firm posited the reason it is not there is due to current management, specifically CEO Yves Guillemot. Ubisoft at current state is mismanaged and shareholders are hostages of the Guillemot family members and Tencent who take advantage of them. Management is focused on pleasing investors with beating quarterly results and not focusing on long-term strategy to provide exceptional experience for the gamers. As for why he believes the company will go bankrupt or be forced into a buyout situation, Valiant Renegade pointed to the Walt Disney Company, which owns Star Wars. He said, the woke is what has murdered this stuff. It's very simple. The Walt Disney Company, the same company that destroyed Marvel in phases four and five, the same company that has destroyed Star Wars since day one, is the same company that is now destroying another partner out there, obviously referring to Ubisoft. The Walt Disney Company has put an enormous amount of downward negative pressure on Hasbro because of the fact that they broke Marvel and they broke Star Wars. And Hasbro is on the hook for billions of dollars in licensing fees for these toys that they can't sell, like Captain Marvel, like, like Miss Marvel, and all this other trash that they had to spend a ton of money to produce. They're still actually producing this stuff. They released some Black Series figures on the act like that no one is going to buy. It's, it's just utterly ridiculous. Same with new Star Wars. All the money they, lo they lost with Rose Tico dolls, Reva stuff, and all this crap. People don't want it. He's absolutely right. That's how woke breaks people. And still later, he added this. This is where the woke side comes in, is that like many other Hollywood studios, television and film, and in this case, game development studios have succumbed to the DEI ideology where they are just hiring people to fill a void because they can say, oh, we now have 30% of our game developers and our game writers and all this kind of other stuff are women. Sweet. Are they any good? Well, what's interesting about this is we do indeed have a actual interview from Ubisoft's like head of the D their DEI department literally bragging about how they increased their amount of women at the company from I think it's 22 percent to 25 percent so that's literally what they are doing we know that they are discriminating against men they have a whole mentorship program that uh, excludes men from even applying they're not even eligible to apply for the program so we know that that's exactly what this company is doing they are 100 percent beholden to the DEI ideology. It is all over their website. It says that they, they are 100% committed to this and they are committed to transforming the video game industry to reflect their value, their DEI, their woke value. That's exactly what Ubisoft is trying to do. And what, what is ending up happening is their stock is absolutely tanking. You have an investment firm 
telling them to sell the company or take it private uh, because they're sick and tired of them embracing this woke ideology. And I think, I think we can connect some dots here and that the a lot of these investment firms are the ones who are probably trying to push that woke ideology onto the company. And that is why the company uh, could be potentially doing that. But I think they have now hired, like Disney, they've hired all these people who are indeed true believers in these ideologies. And that, that, that company is now infected. It has converged. And really, the only thing you can really do is kind of excise it. You got to like, you got to cut it off. It's so bad. You can't treat it with antibiotics anymore. You're going to have to amputate. And I think that is what is going to happen with Ubisoft. And I 100% agree with Valiant Renegade's assessment that that is likely going to happen. You're going to be running into bankruptcy or they are going to have to sell. But uh, let me know what you guys make of these uh, financial analysts downgrading Ubisoft's stock uh, in the wake of poor or seemingly poor Star Wars Outlaws sales and reviews. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.